this is a sewer line project going on. They're going to reline the existing sewer line, and this is a temporary line that they're going to use uh, while they're working on the existing line. So what you're looking at here is HDPE pipe. It's actually made out of plastic, and these uh, gizmos here, this is how you cut the pipe. So this project goes on for a few miles here. And like I say, this is the this is the cutter. This actually cuts this heavy duty pipe. And um, we're going to go down this project a little bit. I'm going to show you what's happening here, uh, what they're actually doing. This is how they join the pipes together. What what they're actually going to do is after they put this temporary pipe, get it all put together. That's where the sewage is going to come down. The sewage is going to come down this temporary pipe, which will be laying right on the road. And that will give them time to work on the existing sewer line that's in the ground. They're going to reline re the existing sewer line. So it's an inter interesting concept, an interesting project. So this is how you do it. If you're going to fix the existing sewer line that's in the ground, a lot of times you'll need to put this big uh, temporary bypass pipeline in. That's what they call it. They call it a temporary sewer bypass pipeline. And like I said, it's made out of HDPE pipe. Very heavy duty pipe, but it's just temporary. It's made out of plastic. It's temporary. And it'll it'll lay on the it'll lay on top of the ground like that. And uh they'll have to uh go underground and work uh, work on the existing main sewer line. They'll they'll uh reline that. And if you notice here during during the intersections, look how they they put it underneath the road at the intersections. That's kind of cool. So if you see there, the temporary line goes under the road, so then that keeps the intersections clear. And then when it bypasses the intersection, it's back up on the road. And there we go. So this this sewer project line probably goes for maybe a good three, maybe four miles. And I guess they do it in sections like that. They probably do it in, you know, three to five mile sections. And then once they get that section done, they go on to the next section and they've already done a few sections on this road. This road here is called Oki, Oki Road in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a interesting project. I thought I would show it to you if anybody's interested in how they put in a temporary sewer bypass pipeline. This is how they do it. And this project will probably go on for about a, a month before they get the uh, existing sewer line relined and then once they get the exi existing sewer line relined and they can take this temporary pipeline and move it move it move it up a little bit go up, go to the next 5 mile section so here we are towards the end of the project again you can see how at the intersections they just take it underneath the road just for the intersections. I don't know exactly how much a project like this would cost, but you can almost bet your bottom dollar that's going to be in the millions because, you know, governments, you know, they, the governments are pretty, pretty liberal in paying contractors good wages. And you do want to get it done right. You do want to get the job done correctly. You don't want to skimp on a job like this. And uh, later on you have problems. So uh, definitely when it comes to sewer and water, you want to spend as much money as you can to do it, do it properly. I do agree with that. Bridges and infrastructure need to be done correctly.